Family and neighbors react after a 15 year old driver accused of hitting and killing another teen is never booked into jail. According to the city of Odessa, the 15 year old did not have a license. He's charged with criminally negligent homicide, but he spent no time behind bars. CBS 7's Matt Riss spoke with the family of the victim, Mateo Lujan, today. They are still grieving, but asking why the suspect was not detained. Matt? Tatum J. Friday's accident was initially reported as a hit and run. And as late as Monday, that's what they called it in a news release. But now they're changing the language, calling it a tragic accident, adding that the 15-year-old driver did not flee the scene and was released to his parents. 15-year-old Mateo Lujan lost his life walking home Friday night. When my mom told me that he passed away, I just couldn't believe it. I kept thinking he was going to come out the doors. As late as Monday, the city called it a hit and run based on the initial 911 call. Now they have a suspect and a different explanation. There was a vehicle involved. Um, the suspect that has been charged was driving that vehicle. It was not a hit and run as the call initially went out. Um, the investigation revealed that it was a, a essentially a car pedestrian accident. A 15 year old driver with no license now faces a charge of criminally negligent homicide for the crash. There was no intention. There was no let's go out and kill somebody tonight. It was truly an accident. It just so happened to occur while another crime was occurring. Goodson said the suspect was uncooperative on the scene, refusing to give a statement until a judge got involved. Even so, he was released to his parents. I think that he deserves to be in jail right now. The city says the decision to book or not, even with criminal charges, is in the hands of police officers. Why was this suspect not arrested? The suspect was arrested and charged, but he was not booked into the, the juvenile youth center because of um, his age um, and evidence and circumstances in the case. Police decided to turn the suspect back over to the parents and turn the case over to the county attorney's office. Do you think this may send a message to other teens or even other criminals that um, the city may go easy on them if they commit a crime? No, no, I don't think it will. This is not the first time that a case has been turned over um, like this. This won't be the last time. It truly is officer discretion. Now the city tells me that the suspect faces up to two years on state jail felony charges for that charge in this case. We asked the city why he wasn't, the, why the suspect wasn't also charged for driving without a license. We have not yet heard back.